Savitri, page 80. To a few is given the God-like rare release, one among many thousands never touched. Engrossed in the external world's design, is chosen by a secret witness eye and driven by a pointing hand of light across his soul's unmapped immensitudes. A pilgrim of the everlasting truth, our messers cannot hold his messerless mind. He has turned from the voices of the narrow realm and left the little lane of human time. In the hushed precincts of a vaster plan, he treads the vestibules of the unseen or listens following a bodiless guide to a lonely cry in boundless vacancy. All the deep cosmic murmur falling still. He lives in the hush before the world was born. His soul left naked to the timeless one, far from compulsion of created things, thought and its shadowy ideals disappear. The moulds of form and person are undone. The ineffable wideness knows him for its own. A lone forerunner of the God word yet, among the symbols of yet unshaped things, watched by closed eyes, mute faces of the unborn. He journeys to meet the incommunicable, hearing the echo of his single steps. In the eternal courts of solitude, a nameless marvel fills the motionless hours. His spirit mingles with eternity's heart and bears the silence of the infinite. In a divine retreat from mortal thought, in a prodigious gesture of soul sight, his being towered into pathless heights, naked of its vesture of humanity.